We begin this evening with continuing coverage of the Christopher Weiss trial. He's the man accused of shooting and killing a mother and her baby daughter. Today, DNA from inside their car was put into the spotlight. Six News reporter Mike Rogers is live for us tonight in the McLennan County Courthouse with the very latest. Mike, a bit of a gray area here, I understand, when it comes to the DNA in this case. Yeah, Chris, from that DNA analysis, investigators were able to determine that both Valerie Martinez and Azariah's Mar Azariah Martinez's DNA was found inside the car as well as on their clothes from the night that they were both shot and killed. Investigators, however, were able to name Christopher Weiss as a, quote, contributor of DNA to the scene of the crime, which means that his DNA was found alongside other DNA, so they cannot rule out that he was never in the car. Several other people's DNA that were not involved with the shooting were also pulled from the vehicle. Investigators were also unable to determine the source of the DNA that traveled from the fire bullet because of the chemical reaction that occurred after the gun was fired. The loose cigarette butts that were found outside of the car all came from Valerie Martinez on the night that she was murdered. Analysis of the prints on the steering wheel and DNA that was found from Weiss was on the grip that showed he was unable to be excluded as a contributor to the scene of the crime. Now coming up at six, we'll have more details, we'll have more details on this case as well as disturbing Google searches and cell phone data that came from Weiss's cell phone as well as more information on on further interrogations that the sh that sh the sheriff's office did with Christopher Weiss, Chris. All right, Mike Rogers live for us in the Clinton County Courthouse on what appeared to be very technical testimony today. Thank you, Mike.